Hey guys, Tim here with TimKitTutorials.com and welcome to part 4 of our user-based community site tutorial series. Um, in part 4 we're going to be activating a user account and I noticed I made a mistake in part 3 where we are writing the registration script and in the email link that we're sending um, it's sending this, remember if you have www.yoursite.com and then it says uh, question mark ID equals 1 and activate equals their activation code. Um, right here I forgot that we're going to be creating a file that we need to uh, set so your new email link should look like this your site here dot com slash activation dot php and then you have your uh, question mark id and activation code so what you want to change is go over here to your parse registration dot php script and down at the bottom in your message you're going to have um, right here it says ahref equals uh, your site here dot com and id so what you want to do is after the dot com and before the question mark you want to put slash activation dot php and then also um, in the text itself same spot uh, slash activation dot php save that file and you should be set to go so this is the string that we're going to be working with here the new email link um, so we're going to be sending all the requests to activation.php. So let's go ahead and create that file. And once again, I'm using Notepad++. You can use any text editor. Uh, I'm just going to grab the index page right here and copy that and create a new file. Paste that in. I'm just going to change the title uh, to activation page. Or just say, it doesn't really matter, but site activation. Um, then we're going to wipe out everything in between uh, the header and footer and I'm just going to put uh, account activation save it and we're going to go to our root directory and we're going to say activation.php okay so if we go over here and we go to activation.php, we should now have just activation or account activation. Nothing's happening, nothing's going on. Uh, what we want to do at the top of the page is since we're going to be sending in a string value, so let's go back over here to uh, index here. I'm going to grab the uh, ID equals one and activation code and we're going to paste that in after here so this is going to simulate what the email is going to send them to um, activation.php id equals one so what we're doing is we're looking for our users table we're going to look for id of number one and with an activation code equal to the one in the url and if those match we're going to set activated equal to zero or to one i'm sorry okay so right now it's not doing anything back here in our activation.php at the top we're going to um, check it out and we're going to say if is set we're going to say dollar underscore get of id uh, comma dollar sign underscore get um, activation I think it's what it was called I can't remember uh, activate it's called activate so activate. So if those two are set, we're going to run this code. Else, we're going to do this. At the top, I'm just going to declare a variable called status. And we're going to set it equal to nothing. And we'll be using that in just a second. So if it doesn't exist, we're going to set the status to uh, equal. We're going to say I'll just say I'm sorry, but there is, there was a problem activating your account. So I'm put that, and in the account activation, in the body tag, we're just going to start a paragraph right here just to display the status. We're going to say PHP tags, echo, and then status. Close off PHP block, 
close off your uh, paragraph tag, save it. Uh, now we should not be getting any errors right now. But if we were to remove all of this and try again, it says, I'm sorry, but there's a problem activating your account. So if ID equals nothing, um, oh, we also have to check, I'm sorry. So if these are set, and we need to make sure they um, don't equal nothing, so it's not equal to nothing, and the uh, activate does not equal nothing as well. So that way you can't just have an ID and activate and expect your script to run. So now we should refresh and get an error because the ID is nothing right now. So if we were to set it to 1, we shouldn't remove. If we remove the activate code, we shouldn't have a problem. So Okay, so we're back here. Okay, so if it does exist, we're going to need to uh, include our connection file. Or I'm sorry. Yes, include once. And the location of our script is scripts underscore connect dot php. And then we're going to run a query. We're going to say SQL equals MySQL query. Inside the parentheses, inside the double quotes, our query is going to be uh, select ID from uh, users where ID is equal to um, two single quotes, and we'll say and activate, activate, sorry, let me check to make sure, I think it's activation code, yes, activation underscore code, activation underscore code is equal to two single quotes, we'll fill that in a second, and then we're going to say limit one. Save that, and then up here above the query, we need to uh, set ID is equal to uh, dollar sign underscore get ID. And I'm just going to include a note. Make sure you filter um, your get variables because you don't want uh, MySQL injections or um, anything like that. You may want to only limit this to be numbers, so you can do that. It's not in this tutorial, but um, make sure you do that. And we're going to say activate is equal to dollar sign underscore get uh, activate. Make sure again you filter that as well. And inside the single uh, quotes here, we're just going to do the ID as dollar sign ID, and the activation code is activate. Okay. And we need to say if mysql underscore num underscore rows of our query is equal equal to one two equals there else we're going to set the status equal to I'm sorry but the problem or there was a problem activating your account um, pretty much what this means is if there is an ID selected and this account exists with both the ID and activation code, we're going to run whatever's inside here. We're going to set up another query, equal to MySQL query, and inside there, we're going to say uh, update users set um, activated equal to single quote one single quote, and then we're going to say where uh, ID is equal to our ID variable and activation underscore code is equal to our activate variable. I'm going to say limit one. Okay, and we're going to go and say if MySQL2 or SQL2 variable. We're just going to copy this for a second. We're going to change it and say your account has been successfully activated. And you could just provide a link here or something. 
to redirect them to a login script or log them in or do whatever you want here. Or else, this is where um, it could not be activated, and I would just say there's a problem activating your account. Okay? So we're going to go over here. We're going to change the activation code. We're just going to put in random numbers and letters. Hit enter. It says, I'm sorry, but there's a problem activating your account. And if we replace the numbers that were in the email and uh, refresh the page, it says your account has been successfully activated. Provide link here. So we go back, refresh our browser. And if we look here, it says activated is equal to 1. So there we have it. We have site activation. Just make sure you make that change in your uh, parse registration script. Uh, make sure you add activation PHP after uh, your site.com or whatever site you're using. And we'll see you in part five.